And well, I started doing a video at One Grange Park Road, and somebody came out and started emptying some rubbish out. So I stopped recording and I went and spoke to them. We had a, quite a long conversation. <laughs> they uh, asked me about Sean Atwood. I thought about him. I didn't tell him anything different than what uh, I've said in my videos. Because that's what I think about him. Uh, anyway, he's very popular. But, uh, Keith Stark used to live just about here somewhere. drawn to that house there but I could be wrong but it weren't very far away anyway that's three uh, they're not odd and even here uh, the last house there is one Grange Park Road where I used to squat there's two Grange Park Road three Grange Park Road four Grange Park Road two start used to live about here somewhere That is the beautiful One Grange Park Road. Uh, the people who live there now, I've got nothing to do with my story. I just had a very nice chat with a young guy that lives there. With his girlfriend. And it's uh, his girlfriend's parents' house. Uh, <laughs> funny he's asking me about Sean Atwood. <laughs> he knows about Brian Harvey as well. Uh, my room was uh, that front ground floor room on the right. Uh, and I remembered that the stairs don't go up like you might think, straight up. Uh, the stairs go up that way. Uh, my friend Stephen Karen didn't have the front room, they had the room behind that. So it's very weird being here. Just having a long chat with um, somebody who lives in that house. I was tempted to ask him if I could go in. I think that just freaked me out too much. They were a bit surprised about what I said anyway. Uh, I said, sorry, I was filming. I'm doing a film about your house. Um, I feel a bit flat now. I've talked to him. Telling him that uh, bad things happened in the house that he lives in. I don't know what I'm no. I was quite angry earlier. Uh, but the young lad I chatted to, when I started explaining things to him, he seemed to get it and understand it. But you never know whether people are just um, being yes people, you know? They're not disagreeing with you because they don't want the argument. You know, personally, it don't matter to me whether people believe me or not. Uh, the police should do their job. Trainee Detective Constable Vincent Cam. He's been on duty now for quite a while. I've been to the station. I told him I'm here. He was sent an email to inform him that I'm here. Uh, and he's not bothered contacting me. It's because they don't want to look at it. Uh, yeah, don't know what else to say now. Uh, but thanks for listening. <laughs> Especially the geezer that lives in the house. <laughs> No, he must have been chatting for about half an hour or something. Three quarters of an hour almost. Uh, he said he found it very interesting. He said his girlfriend would find it interesting. <laughs> they didn't know who Stark was. I said, oh, you should Google her. <laughs> and he thought it was quite weird. That uh, after I talked about it in 1988, in 1990, 
the extended circle of friends of Lady Emma Herbert, who was a friend of Coo Stark, all surrounded me, befriended me, like being in a, some sort of a cult where people are keeping you in the group so they can keep an eye on you so you ain't talking about things or if you are talking about things he thought that was quite weird <laughs> apparently people on YouTube don't find that weird apparently the police do not find that weird I find it very fucking weird thanks very much for your support